Yes, it really sucks to lose money and it happened to me as well, especially in the early of my career, literally two years ago, I got into a project, I lost 80,000, me and my partner together and got out of that project. Of course, it was super painful, but the reason, again, I haven't really shared these details much with many people. So I, I finally decided to share it because, you know, you can learn something out of it. Watch till the end. I'm going to share like, you know, what I really learned from this and, you know, what you can avoid uh, on my suggestions. So hope you learn something. Namaskar, Aditya here. Welcome back to my channel. So you've been following me and you like my content, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button because that helps me because I'm helping you. Give me back. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so again, this is really important that you need to know some dumb mistakes that other people made because you know, there is a great saying you might heard already. Why learn all the mistakes by yourself? Why not learn from others mistakes? So that's why I'm sharing this video. I hope you can learn something. Okay, to start with, first of all, this happened in like mid of 2018, where I'm like debating about getting into real estate as a realtor. But at the same time, I already own like three or four properties at that time. And I was always really keen into new constructions. So I was like really into it. So I wanted to build a fourplex and it's even insane i want to build like 30 bedrooms in that fourplex so that's a great idea and many people really appreciate it but again i didn't had enough money i didn't know anyone who actually did construction so again for the legal side of it I, i'm not going to share any names i'm not going to say any uh, details of the project but i'll give you an overview so I partnered up with two other people. One is a builder and another person is another friend of mine. Again, I don't know both of them. Um, I met in an event. So we became friends, but I was like really still new figuring out things. I didn't have that much money. I was just uh, bought my second property and I had my sister's wedding planned and so much things going on. I didn't really had that much money, but I thought I was really smart. So I asked my other partner who said, hey, uh, he had some line of credit. So, hey, can you, can I borrow money from you? So now we both be partners. So literally I took money from him indirectly and some of my money from my pocket, but I was paying him interest. So long story short, we all three decided to start this project and the builder and builder is the one who is responsible to build the project, but at no extra cost it's just the whatever the cost to build and we give him the partnership so he gets one third of the project and me and mother partner gets one third of the project everything was going well um, because you know we are relying on an expert so first dumbest mistake i made was actually i didn't really dig much into new constructions i right away jumped in with so much depth and and um, you know into a big project so that was my first mistake but again, continue on now because I have this other friend who is willing to, you know, put money for me. And I, of course, I'm, I have an agreement with him to pay him back. We have a corporation and all those things. So for him, it's, it's secure because I have a bunch of properties already and we are working on this project. We are making some progress. We got a land um, for a pretty decent price, not so cheap, but because the property already was rezoned for uh there was already a variance done for us to build a fourplex so it was good to go for fourplex of course the builder we hired with is, is a totally different uh, type of construction so i said why not we can give it a try so we actually projected x number x amount of uh, price for to start the construction so we thought we can get everything done within two hundred thousand to start the construction like by the time we will have like break the ground so that we can get private money to get the rest of the money. But the project is going on and it's all new for all of us. So 
all three of us, even though brother, um, he, he is from a different country, so he doesn't know how it works here. And like we all learning, we all looking at it and it's, it's totally brand new. So all of a sudden we, up, we got the drawings, we, we got the basic architectural drawings, engineering drawings and other drawings and we submit a soil test and a blah, blah, blah. We spent almost 50 to 60 grand and we submitted to the city and city came back and said, you need to do X number of things more to give you this approval. And that list was huge. So here's where the second breakdown was like pretty much now me and my partner who, who are bringing in the cash, we expected to be 200,000 and already we are at 200,000 and city is asking lot more things to do and which need another 50, 60, 70 grand, who knows how much it's going to cost. So now I was little confident that, you know, if we, we bring the money and we'll make it happen. That was my confidence. Was. I, I didn't have money, but I was like confident a little bit. Of course, I was scared inside a lot. But my partner, who was the one actually whom I'm borrowing the money from because he had a bigger line of credit. So he was super freaked out because it's his money, right? Like he can see that money draining every day and his line of home line of credit. So he's scared to the death. Again, the builder has nothing stake in terms of putting money. He's putting his efforts. Of course, he has his efforts, but it's all new because of that. Even he's learning so many things and we are spending so much money. So literally this was like really scary moments me and my partners we used to have calls like every day evening and like one two hours call what are we gonna do what are we gonna do this that that and my actual cash partner the other partner who started to freak out so much because he never did something like this so pretty much we end up selling the lot has this with whatever the drawings we had and we lost, so we almost invested 200,000 and we sold it for 120. Good for someone who bought it because it's great. If he had some money, they can make that 30 bedrooms and sell that building for freaking two, three million. But again, we couldn't make it. We sold it because we are terrified. So another lesson I learned here is like, first of all, I should not have jumped in this project because I didn't had enough experience I didn't have the money and even the partners that I, I you know went on with none of us had experience none of had none of us had you know really a solid financial backup so it's it's all my fault like you know really I should have thought about it this before even I jump in I should have done a little more extensive research on how much would it cost and what are the things involved in the steps you know um, what does the city needed what does the you know um, actually the, the new builder program uh, the Terrian warranty they had they need licenses and all actually my partner has to go through some exams so so many things that are involved I could have learned all these things before or at least I feel I wish I should have started with a smaller project which is within my reach to learn the basic steps and then go for the bigger one so multiple lessons the, the second lesson was like i should have started with smaller project and the third lesson was if i didn't know anything i should have partnered with someone who actually did everything from start to know and and know everything and know exactly at least the to pin down what is the maximum budget that we need to invest so then it would be a lot more easier or the third thing is Either I should have started something, this kind of project when I had a solid financial um, stability or a partner who has a financially solid so that we don't have to sell it with the, you know, with the, with the fear, with the, with the stress. Because I really, till the date, I regret for, first of all, I don't regret for doing it because I learned so many things through the process, um, but I regret for actually not continuing through it like I should have if I had either financial backed up partner or if I had myself had enough money or if we had a, a, a knowledge of full knowledge uh, person who knows the exact steps with the Windsor City and all those things um, in terms of construction 
then I feel like we would have went further in the process and we would have actually had a solid cash flowing property. But again, whatever happens happened for my reason. So that's when I, I kind of said, you know, me and my partner with, who bought the money, we said, you know what, it's a great project. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a, such an awesome project. Once it's done, it's, it's going to be very fruitful. But the thing is, we are at a point where maybe it's time for us to give up, give up our dreams and hopes. So that's when pretty much we said, put a pause on it, uh, got out of it, sold it. Thank God. Thanks to the builder who bought another buyer um, and he bought it and they're working on it. So I'm pretty sure they were going to make good money on it. But from my point of view, if you're in my shoe, don't jump the guns too early, especially in a new construction, because new construction is not that easy or at the same time, it's not that hard too. It's, it's just a, either you need to have solid knowledge or you need to have a backup or start small. These are the things I would say, like now with the experience, now I haven't got back into the construction, new construction yet. Of course, it put me a little longer because I was first of all paying off my debts, so much debts. At the same time, my sister wedding was planned and at the same time, I wanted to quit my job. I literally quit my job with 100,000 debt. So it was so much financial pressure. It could have done, I could have done it a lot more differently. Um, but the thing is, you know, whatever happened, happened is happened. I cannot get it back but I can learn from it. That's what I said, you know, I, I, me and my wife really thought about this multiple times. You know what? It happened for a reason. Now I know what the process is. Now I know how much money a new construction need. And now I know what are the important elements that I need to be careful with so that I don't make the same mistakes again. Maybe I might be making new mistakes, but at least the major things that can really break the deal I don't have to do those mistakes. So that's my story. That's my last story. I know it sucks. I know, you know, even till the day I feel so bad whenever I talk about it, I get some emotional into it. So, but trust me, you don't learn without mistakes. So hope you learned something from this. Let me know if you have any losses. Uh, I cannot control my emotions, but let me know in the comments below. If you have any losses, if you went through some horrible things, what lessons you learned, Again, this is a life journey where you always make mistakes, but you, we got to learn from it and move on and do something new and new mistakes, but don't repeat the old mistakes. So let me know in the comments below. And if it's helpful for you, hit that thumbs up button and have a wonderful day.